What is going on, my dudes in Vault Clan? My name is Vault Poppy, and I will be your commentator for today. I'm new here, so I do hope you guys enjoy. But today in the background is going to be a triple non lethal nuclear on the map carrier with 107 total kills using the Scar H. I'm pretty sure he has Quick Draw, Fast Mag, and the stock on it, but don't quote me on that. This is by Vault. Hawkson, this dude is a beast, man. I don't know how you get three nuclears. Honestly, in my Call of Duty career in the last year, I have never gotten a nuclear. I've gotten tons of brutals and whatnot, but I've never been able to pull off the nuclear. So to get three in one game on this poop ass snipper map is incredible, man. This dude is a beast. But today, what I will be commentating on is going to be a crazy story I have from when I was in the U.S. Army back in the day. But let me just premise this story for you guys. So I was 18 years old. Um, I had just graduated basic training. And um, I was stationed in Augusta, Georgia at Fort Gordon. Which in my opinion is a shithole of a base to begin with. But after a couple weeks of being there, um, you get these passes to go off base. Off post. And uh, do what you want. You can go shopping. You can stay out for the night depending on uh, your privileges at the time. So... Pretty much, <laughs> as everybody in the army does for the most part, everybody goes out drinking on Friday and Saturday night. You go out drinking, but like I said, I'm only 18, and most of my buddies that I'm with are only 18. There's a couple 21-year-olds, but most of them are 18 years old. So, um, over a couple weeks period, I finally found the right server at Hooters in uh, Augusta, Georgia to serve us. I talked her into it, I tricked her, told her I left my ID in the hotel room, yada, yada, yada. She was like... 17 or 18 little hottie so she didn't really give a shit so she served us and this one night we decided all right we're gonna go out tonight we're gonna get rowdy as fuck we're gonna go out we're gonna get shmammered um and have a good time just have a good time because um it's kind of rough down there it's not that fun you're i was a special system support specialist or something like that which is pretty much fixing radio so kind of a boring job bo boring schooling for the most part um <coughs> so we decided to go out so me and my buddy, I'm not going to name any names, we will just call him um, Bob for this. Me and Bob, we go out drinking, we go to Hooters, and we're watching the UFC fight, and we're drinking, we taking lemon drops after lemon drops, Coronas, everything. We are pretty fucking toasted uh, by, say, 11 o'clock at night, man. We are just drunk as shit. Actually, I was out in the parking lot vomiting for a little bit, didn't get in trouble somehow there, and... Um, come back in and keep drinking and then we decide our buddy calls us up he's right down the street at a hookah bar they had hookah bars around there where you go in you sit down if you guys don't know what a hookah bar is you smoke shisha it's like a um like a wet tobacco with flavor and it's pretty damn good so we go down there and we're chilling chilling with our buddy smoking some hookah and our one buddy comes out and says yo come into the back man we're smoking spice back here they have this special back room where you can smoke spice and if you all don't know what spice is it's like a fake weed it's, it was legal back then it's not legal anymore the the united states has recently outlawed it and made it illegal to do all that but back then you could buy the shit from like sunoco and smoke it and you got stoned as shit so like i said we're already pretty fucking drunk and we go down there and we take a couple rips off of this bong <laughs> I know, we're fucking shitbags, pieces of shit. I didn't even want to, but peer pressure, I'm trying to be cool. I'm in the army with all my older army buddies. I'm like, fuck it, you know what, I'll take a rip. So we take some rips off this bong, and literally, five minutes later, I'm like, oh my god, Jesus Christ, man, I can't even walk. I can't walk out the door, I'm too fucking stoned. So we try and make our way to the front, we gotta get a cab back on post, and we are just fucked up, beyond, out of our minds, man, just blown out, so we finally make our way to the front of the hookah bar, walk outside, and there's cops there, and I'm like, oh my god, dude, we're fucked, we're getting in trouble, no one said a word, we make our way in this cab, and the way it works down here is they have special cabs just for soldiers to get back and forth from the post, because most people don't have their cars, if, especially if you're in training, so we're making our way back, and you gotta make a couple stops to fill up the cab, pick up more soldiers from different places, so we're drunk as shit, we're getting the spins at this point, and we stop off at this Holiday Inn. We both stumble out of this car, because we're about to vomit, and Bob proceeds to pass out right there outside the cab. I stumble into a bush a few feet away, 
vomit all over my chest and myself and pass out. I wake up a few hours later, um, I'm right behind a Dunkin' Donuts in a fucking bush. Bob's gone, everybody's gone, I have no clue what's going on. I can't talk because I'm so blown out and have cotton mouth so bad. So I go into this Dunkin' Donuts and get a drink, clean myself up a bit, <coughs> but I'm still blown out of my mind. So I then get a cab, and we roll up to the gate of this bit of our post of the of Fort Gordon. And you have to show the sergeant at the post your ID, and he has to inspect you, and make sure everything's legit. So I'm thinking I'm fucked. I'm thinking I'm fucked, and I'm about to vomit again. I got the spin so bad from riding in the car that I'm about to vomit in this man's cab, which is a $200 fine. I got to pay this man to clean out his cab if I vomit in it. Since so many soldiers do it, there's literally a sign in the cab. If you vomit in my cab, it's $200 cleaning fee. I'm like, fuck, I don't have $200 for this dude. I just spent all my money at Hooters. So I hold my composure enough to get through the gate of this post, and from there... I proceed to vomit in this backpack I have on me and fill this fucker up to the top with vomit. <laughs> Once I get back to my barracks, I then lay the backpack behind the, the sergeant's car that's in charge at the time, and the next morning he actually proceeds to stick his hand in the backpack and see what it is. He was fucking mad about that, but I'm not getting into that real quick. So I wake up, I'm wondering where my buddy Bob's at. Where the hell did you go, Bob? Where are you at? <coughs> Bob so fucked up, so drunk, and so stoned from this crappy ass legal spice, he went into a coma. He went into a coma where he legitly told me that he had to get a catheter put up his dick and he could feel and see, he could feel and hear everything that was going on but could not talk, could not say stop it. He was, he was so scared, man. I've never been that drunk and I've gone to a coma, but this dude did. He ended up being alright and actually did not get in trouble somehow. I have no clue how he didn't get any trouble, but <coughs> there you go, guys. There's my crazy army story. I tried to make it as interesting as I possibly could for you guys. So I hope you did enjoy, and I hope you did enjoy this beast ass triple nuclear by Volt Hawkson. If you did enjoy, please make sure to go check out his channel as well as drop a like down below and help us keep growing here at the Volt Clan. And let me know down in the comments if you have any crazy stories when you were out drinking or smoking or something like that. I know myself, I got stories for days. But thank you guys for checking the video out once again. I am Volt Poppy, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.